Hi everyone, it's Lauren at Crafty Hippie. Today I'm going to talk to you about Pebio Drawing Gum. Now, Pebio Drawing Gum is actually a masking fluid and generally it's used to mask off areas when water colouring. It's not sold by Stampin' Up. There aren't many other brand auxiliary products that I use, but this is one of them. You can get it in bottle or pen form. Um, this is the bottle. I've got a little paintbrush which I use to spread the Pebio around. So we're going to be making a card today using the Beautiful You stamp set, which uh, many of you know has been around for a while now. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous and you can create all sorts of looks with the ladies dresses and umbrella and hats. Um, I'm going to be using the lady with the umbrella today who I'm not sure if I've used before. So first of all I'm going to stamp her with some black ink and then I'm going to cover her with the Pebio drawing gum. I'm sure there are other brand uh, masking fluids out there. Um, I haven't used any of them um, but Pebio itself is very easy to find online. Okay so I'm just going to dry her off a little bit just to make this process a bit quicker. Now the Beautiful You stamp set you can fi find on page 132 of the annual catalogue. There are 13 stamps and you can get that in a wood mount or a clear mount. Let's see if I can get the lid off. There you go, I've not used this in a while. Okay, so it's a bluish liquid um, and I'm guessing the idea that it's blue, the reason it's blue is so that you can actually see where you're putting it. So um, it's up to you whether you colour inside the, the, the black line, um, you know, right up to the edge of it, or if you want to um, go slightly outside the line, uh, it depends on the look that you're after. Um, so actually I'm going to I'm going to create a big sort of shadow behind her. Obviously you want to make sure that your stamped image is um, dry before you do this. And I'm guessing that the type of ink that you stamp in is obviously going to have an effect as well. This is um, fade resistant dye ink, the Tuxedo Memento, which we do sell. Um, and you know, it basically it means that because it's a dye ink, it doesn't smudge when I put the Pebio on. Um, so you you want to put that on reasonably thick. Um, you want that to dry and create a really good mask that you can easily peel off. Um, I say peel; it's you rub it off with your fingers. Um, there we go. So. For the purposes of the video, that's actually going to have to be put aside to dry. Um, there's no way that that would dry in the time that um, it, you know, for us to do the next step. So I'm just having a look to see how long it suggests. Um, it just says removable liquid fisque for masking in watercolour and airbrush artworks dilutes and cleans with water. It's going to be a couple of hours at least anyway. Um, so I'm just going to put that aside. So I'm going to stamp our sentiment for our card um, and bring in the lady that I've already stamped and mask, mask off. Oh. So I'm um, just using one stamp set today which is Beautiful You. I'm not using any others. Okay, so there's our sentiment. Celebrate. I'm just going to pop that to one side. And I'm going to be using Balmy Blue and Blueberry Bushel. Now I'm hoping the Blueberry Bushel isn't too dark. Um, I've not made this card before. Um, so I'm just doing this off the top of my head. I'm just getting some paper out of shot because I'm just going to cover my work surface. Now I do love the Stampin' Up! grid paper, but because I'm making um, 
for this video, I tend to find that my lines, my grid paper lines end up all wonky. Um, and also I was getting a strobing effect. I don't know if you saw on one of the other videos. So um, I've had to ditch the grid paper for now. Um, but we'll just do that on top of there. If that's strobing, I'm really sorry. We'll, we'll do that and we'll get rid of the white paper as quick as possible. Um, stamping sponges. I've run out, so I'm just using um, some old dish sponges and not as nice um, you can get stamping sponges from us they're on page 203 and you get three for three pound 25 and i cut my sponges up um, because i find that i don't need them very big i can get more out of a pack um, and i'm just using a tiny tiny part of the sponge so i always cut mine up so we're going to start off with balmy blue i think start light and then get darker I'm just going to lightly sponge around the lady. I'm already thinking that maybe I should have used a lighter blue um, or maybe pool party. But we will go with that and see what we what we end up with. for the blueberry bushel. Generally they say that you should sponge off of your project and then slowly work it onto the project so that you don't get the, um, the sort of texture of the sponge. Um, however, you might like that effect. Um, it's entirely up to you. Now I don't know if I'm going to actually colour my lady in um, or whether I'm going to just keep her white to go with the back of um, the card base. I don't know. Um, I've got a plan in my head but you know as per usual we'll see where we end up with it. Right then, so I'm happy with that I think. Um, and also, I think I might run the edge just through the ink pad. This is another technique that you can use. Um, you do have to be careful not to mess your project up though, which is what I might have done there. But it just gives you a darker edge. Okay, I'm just going to blend that in. Okay, right, I'm happy with that. So I think I might give that a little dry off. Um, what I don't want to do is when I'm rubbing the Pebio off, I don't want to smudge the blue ink onto the white area. Um, the reason we've masked it off is because we don't want any colour on it. So I'm just going to get my heat gun out again. I 
can rub off any bits of ink. Right, so you then just rub off the pebio with your finger. Um, I'm thinking you could probably use an eraser rubber if you've got one, um, but it might be easier just to do it with your with your fingers. And I don't know if you can see uh, the contrast. But there is no ink on the pebiod area. I don't know if you can see that. It is so good. It is amazing stuff. Okay, so um, it's now up to you, obviously, what you do with her, whether you colour her or you leave her like that, whether you do some more sponging, um, whether you stamp another lady, perhaps, and cut out the umbrella for some from some designer series paper. It's really up to you. Um, I've decided I'm going to mount mine on a piece of Melon Mambo card. I don't know why, I just thought that might look really nice. Um, quite a contrast, the pink and the blue. You could get some designer series paper that's got Melon Mambo in the, in the, in the colours and um, like I said you could re-stamp this image on some designer series paper, cut out the, the umbrella shade and then you could mount that. Um, you could stick it flat which would probably be the most effective or you could raise it up on some dimensionals. It's, it's, it's endless, it's limitless. That's what I love about stamping up. Got bits of pebio everywhere. Okay, so um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with my sentiment. I'm tempted to put it underneath like that, but it looks quite nice like that as well. Um, or even over the image there. I think we'll put that central, and then I think we'll go from there. Oh, I can't feel my hands today. Right, not sure, still not sure. Let's, uh, let's put some sticky pads on and work it out. So I've just put some stamping dimensionals on. What are you all making today? Leave me a message uh, in the comments and tell me what you're up to. Uh, perhaps you're not doing any crafting and you just like watching crafting videos or perhaps you're another demonstrator. What are you up to? Let me know. I love getting your comments. Okay, so I think I'm actually going to pop it over here. Not central, like I thought. Um, and then I'm going to put the sentiment next to it. I think that looks really nice. Um, there's a bit of a trick here. So I want to raise that one up as well. But I don't want... This bit's already raised, so I don't want to put um, a dimension under that side because then this side's going to be raised even more and then this one isn't going to stick to the white card base. So um, I'm going to have it overlapping there. So what I've done is I've put a dimensional on that side and I'm just going to put some snail on that side. Whoops, getting glue everywhere today. Okay. 
I'm just going to pop that there. And I think that's really nice. Just a simple, basic, beautiful you card. Thanks for watching. Bye.